This week, the House will vote, Mr. President, this is almost hard to comprehend, for the 31st time to repeal health care reform. They've already voted 30 times. Speaker Boehner said, let's do it again. 31 times. 31 times taking many, many hours, many, many days that should have been gone, should have been spent toward creating jobs. Congressional Republicans have spent months trying to repeal a law that's already saved lives and made people more safe in their, in, as they look at health care in this country. So, Mr. President, while, White, while House Republicans hold a political show vote, the Senate will take a different approach. We're going to continue to try to be constructive, focus on jobs. While Republicans are stuck in the past, we'll be addressing the most pressing issues facing this nation, creating jobs and securing the economy. Last week's job report underscored the fact that Congress must do more to strengthen the recovery. So the Senate will immediately consider a package of common sense tax cuts will lower the cost of doing business for small business and pave the way for these small businesses to succeed. Our legislation will cut taxes for small, for small firms and invest in new workers and equipment. The Small Business Jobs and Relief Act will provide a 10% tax credit for companies that add up to $5 million to their payroll, creating hundreds of thousands of new jobs. Businesses are eligible for a tax break if they hire new workers or if they raise the wages of hardworking employees already on their payroll. And because the credit is capped at $500,000, it is targeted to benefit small businesses most. Legislation will also allow companies to write off the entire cost of purchases, such as new equipment. They'll be able to do it in the year that purchases are made instead of writing them off over long periods of time. More than two million companies could get a boost to their bottom line, creating hundreds of thousands of more jobs. Proposals like these have garnered Republican support in the past. I hope they'll receive the same bipartisan support again tomorrow. After our weekly caucus meetings, tomorrow the Senate will vote to end a Republican filibuster and begin to debate these tax cuts. Democrats can't undertake the work of strengthening our economy alone. We'll need Republican support, which is why we propose consensus tax cuts that should pass the Senate overwhelmingly. It was good to see so many reasonable Republicans willing to work with us last month to save college students money, rebuild the nation's infrastructure, and protect American farmers. Tomorrow, Republicans will have an opportunity to prove they're willing to continue to work with us to create middle class jobs 